question. Are you tired of boring old money? Looking for a financial adventure that's more exciting than a roller coaster ride with a caffeinated squirrel? Well, my friend, it's time to step into the mesmerizing realm of cryptocurrencies, where the rules are made up, the banks don't matter, and the possibilities are as endless as a buffet at an alien brunch. So fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to discuss the world of cryptocurrencies, especially that of Bitcoin and its $1 million target. What is it all about? Fret not because we will also be joined by a figure in the world of finance and investing, Kathy Wood. Wood is the founder and CEO of ARK Investment Management LC, a firm focused on thematic investing and disruptive innovation. She gained significant attention and popularity for her bullish views on technology stocks and disruptive industries. Well anyways, before I run you through Kathy Wood's take on that $1 million hit targeted by Bitcoin, let me first introduce you to Bitcoin. At its core, Bitcoin relies on something called blockchain technology. Think of it as a giant digital ledger that keeps track of all the transactions made with Bitcoin. Instead of one bank holding all the power, the blockchain is distributed among countless computers around the world, making it as democratic as a virtual penguin election. When you want to send or receive Bitcoin, your transaction gets bundled with others into a fancy virtual block. These blocks are then linked together in a chain, forming the blockchain. It's like a never-ending necklace made of digital pearls. But here's the fun part. Bitcoin isn't created out of thin air like a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. It's mined using powerful computers that solve complex mathematical puzzles. Miners compete to be the first to solve these puzzles, and when they do, they're rewarded with freshly minted Bitcoin. It's like a digital treasure hunt, but instead of shovels and maps, you use supercomputers and electricity bills. Bitcoin's beauty lies in its decentralized nature. It's not controlled by any government or central bank, so it's like a rebellious teenager in the financial world, doing its own thing. Plus, transactions made with Bitcoin are mostly anonymous, adding a dash of mystery to the mix. Now, in an interview by Bloomberg Television with Kathy Wood, she said that she still maintains her confidence on that $1 million target for Bitcoins. And Kathy, you're still maintaining your confidence across crypto more broadly. Are you still confident in that $1 million target for Bitcoin? For Bitcoin? Uh, yes, actually. The more uncertainty and volatility there is in the global economies, uh, uh, the, the more uh, our confidence increases in Bitcoin. Um, and, and one of the reasons is we've just been through an inflationary scare. We think it was very much supply chain driven and, uh, and, and uh, Bitcoin was, is a hedge against inflation. Bitcoin could rise to $1 million over the long term to become a reserve currency for the world because of the reasons presented by Wood. To shed light on what she said, let's break down those terms. First, let's tackle the idea of uncertainty and volatility. Imagine you're at a whimsical carnival, hopping on a roller coaster that's doing loop-de-loops and twists and turns. That's how global economies sometimes feel, wild unpredictable, and prone to sudden ups and downs. Now, in the midst of this dizzying ride, Kathy Wood believes that our confidence in Bitcoin grows stronger. But why? Well, picture this. You're walking through a crowded marketplace, and suddenly, a swarm of bees starts buzzing around. Everyone panics, and the value of traditional currencies starts to wobble like jelly on a plate. But wait! There, in the midst of the chaos, stands Bitcoin like a shiny superhero cape, ready to save the day. Kathy Wood points out that during times of uncertainty and volatility, when traditional currencies are going bonkers, Bitcoin has a unique ability to maintain its cool. It's like a digital rock in a sea of financial waves. This stability and resilience make people feel confident in Bitcoin's potential, even as the roller coaster of global economies goes on its wild ride. But what about inflation? Ah, inflation, 
that sneaky little phenomenon that makes prices rise and your hard-earned money feel like it's shrinking faster than an ice cream cone on a hot summer day. Kathy Wood suggests that Bitcoin can act as a hedge against inflation. How does that work? Imagine you have a jar full of delicious cookies and suddenly, a cookie monster named Inflation appears and starts gobbling up those cookies. As more cookies vanish, the remaining ones become more valuable. In this cookie-driven analogy, Bitcoin is like a secret stash of cookies hidden under your bed. As inflation devours the cookies in the jar, traditional currencies losing value. The hidden Bitcoin cookies retain their scrumptious worth. Why? Well, the supply of Bitcoin is limited. There will only ever be 21 million of these digital coins, which means no sneaky cookie monster named inflation can create more out of thin air. This scarcity gives Bitcoin its unique flavor as a hedge against inflation. When traditional currencies lose their purchasing power, Bitcoin can act as a sweet alternative, like a luscious chocolate chip cookie in a world of vanilla wafers. Add the fact that Kathy Wood also said Bitcoin is transparent in all of its pursuit. On the Bitcoin blockchain, um, everything is transparent. It may be pseudonymous, but we can see all the transactions, all of the activity, and therefore we have a much better understanding of how little counterparty risk there is uh, in the blockchain world. Now, let's talk about the recent inflationary scare that Kathy Wood mentions. It's like a collective yikes moment when people start worrying that inflation is about to wreak havoc on their wallets. And during these moments, the supply chain plays a significant role. Kathy Wood suggests that the recent inflationary scare we experienced was supply chain driven. When the supply chain gets all tangled up, it can cause a domino effect, leading to higher prices and reduced purchasing power. But fear not, in this whirlwind of uncertainty, Bitcoin comes to the rescue again, shining like a beacon of hope. Why? Because Bitcoin operates in a different realm. It's not tied to physical goods or supply chains. It's like a cool kid who doesn't rely on pizza deliveries or worry about running out of cheese. Bitcoin exists in its own digital universe, unaffected by earthly supply chain mishaps. So when Kathy Wood says Bitcoin was a hedge against inflation during the recent scare, she means that while traditional currencies and goods may have been caught in the chaos of disrupted supply chains and rising prices, Bitcoin remained unscathed. It stood tall, like a digital superhero cape, protecting its value and giving people a glimmer of hope in uncertain times. However, while some proponents, like Kathy Wood, may argue that Bitcoin exists in its own digital universe, unaffected by earthly supply chain mishaps, and acts as a hedge against inflation, it's important to consider counter-arguments put forth by experts and skeptics alike. Some of the points they raised is that Bitcoin's price has historically exhibited significant volatility. While it's true that Bitcoin has shown resilience in certain market conditions, it has also experienced dramatic price fluctuations. This volatility can make it unreliable as a stable store of value or a consistent hedge against inflation. Another thing they say is the regulatory landscape surrounding cryptocurrencies, which is still evolving. Governments and regulatory bodies are grappling with how to address the challenges and risks associated with digital currencies. Potential regulations or restrictions on Bitcoin could impact its value and utility, undermining its role as a hedge against economic uncertainties. And so what we can do in situations like this is to approach it with caution and do your homework before hitching your wagon to the Bitcoin train. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Finance Zoom channel. I'll see you in the next video.